What's going on everybody? Christopher here back with another video and before I begin I just want to be clear that the issue that I'm about to get into it's not just a problem for creators or YouTubers out of Germany it's on the internet. So it's an issue for everyone speaking particularly in the YouTube space worldwide. So there's two ways you might have encountered this scam. As a creator you might have seen what's going on in your comments section. You might have gotten some comments or emails uh, replying to you and reaching out to you saying that there's things going on on your channel that you might not have been aware of if someone hasn't, hadn't pointed it out to you. Or you might have been an actual commenter or supporter of a creator whose platform just happens to be hit by this scam. Now what this scam is, is basically just bots that have been instilled into your comment section of your video. What they do is they bait people into calling numbers or looking their information up on the internet or somewhere outside of YouTube to get people to go to those areas so they can try to get money off them. It usually comes in the form of trying to get you to buy cryptocurrency or something like that. What it does is it pretends to either be a loyal viewer or the creator themselves. What the bots will do is it'll create conversations as if normal conversations are being had in your comments section. And I'll be honest, these conversations look really natural. So to the untrained eye, one might not think anything is even a problem. But if you look closely and if you read closely, you can see that these conversations aren't really being had between these people. They're staged, they're set up to look like regular everyday conversations in a comment section on a YouTube video. Nine out of 10 times, they'll offer you a WhatsApp number uh, I think it's been other things, but most commonly a WhatsApp number to get you to leave YouTube, go to WhatsApp, and then they can continue on with their scam. Now, later on in the video, I'll tell you exactly how I stumbled upon this, which was way before it became as big as it is right now. I just didn't say anything about it because I thought it was just a one-time thing. I was wrong. So I know by now the bulk of you are probably like, scams have been going on forever. What's the deal with these scams? A scam is gonna happen. But it goes a little bit beyond that because you stand the chance of losing your channel. That's a huge thing, because I don't know about y'all and you other YouTubers and creators out there, but I don't want all my work to be taken away from me and disappear over something that I had no control of. And in a lot of cases, people don't even know is an issue such as the case with Graham Stephan. So look what he had to say. Our team has detected repeated or severe comment spam from your channel. Unless you immediately stop all spam activities, your channel will be terminated on July 12th. Prior to this, I've received no warnings or no indication that this was ever an issue. Not to mention when I saw this, my heart sunk because I knew it had to be an error. The concept of my channel being possibly terminated for something that I have no idea about is absolutely terrifying, especially when all of this just came out of the blue. So he didn't even know what was happening a three million plus subscriber channel, he didn't even know what was happening and he was standing a chance, he was standing a chance of losing his channel right from under him. Like, that is scary. And don't misunderstand this, the danger isn't only with the creator. For you see, the end result of such scams and bots doing what they do is getting things from you. If they get you off this platform onto their other platform, that's where they continue their scam. And their bottom line is to get money from you, to get you out of your resources. You, the viewer, the commenter, the audience. So yes, they're using the creator's platform to infiltrate and get in to get people migrated over to where they need you to be, but nobody's safe. Not the creator, not you, the audience. This is a big deal, for real. And look, if it can happen to a three million subscriber channel, if it can happen to my channel, it can happen to any one of these channels. So this is the warning that I'm giving you guys, you know, to the creators to pay attention to your comment sections. Make sure you know what's going on in there. You, the audience, make sure you know who you're responding to. Never give your information in a comment section, not sensitive information, information that could be detrimental to your livelihood. Don't ever do that. I don't think any creator out there would ever ask you for your sensitive information especially not in the comments section where it's public.
Now you have to watch for these WhatsApp situations. You can see how they are. They, they make the word in such a way that YouTube won't catch it. Or even after you put such comments or commenters into your spam box, you know, the point where the person comments and then it goes into this box for us to see and then we make it public or not. Once you put it into there, they're smarter. These bots are smart enough to manipulate the wording again in a different way to where it's not even the same way that you flagged it. And Graham Stephan isn't the only one. Another channel I frequent right here, you'll hear him talk about it. So you understand what's going on. There are several YouTube policies with regard to spam and comments that become a problem. They become a bigger problem when it's not you doing them and when it's bots and scammers doing it in your name. You can see what they're doing right here. You see how they have WhatsApp with the symbols, the dots in between, and then they make the numbers similar. And as soon as you flag this, it'll be changed into something else the next time. Maybe they won't put dots in between. Maybe they'll put squiggly lines in between, or maybe they'll use asterisks. The bots have found a way to get around being flagged. So what are we supposed to do? You just now have to monitor your channel a little more closely. And look at this, if you just put YouTube comment scam in the search bar, look at how many results you get. And these are all about the same scam. Bitcoin scam cluster bots, new scams, crypto scams, bot baiting. These are all about the same kind of scam, the same exact scam that's going on on all of these YouTube channels. Now here's my personal experience. Here's how I found this scam way before it even blew up to what it is right now. This is off my channel. It's from that video I made that uh, proves that the US is rotten to the core. Y'all know the video. But in the comments section, there's a comment from a commenter that says, nice video, very engaging from beginning to end. Nevertheless, the business and investment, the businesses and investment are the easiest way to make money irrespective of which party makes it to the Oval Office. Now, what the hell does that have to do with my video? Nothing. So I look closely and I'm just like, what? You know, cause I res I'm all in the comments. Y'all know that I, I respond to most 90 plus percent of my comments right now while I still can. It'll get out of control at some point. But when I look at this, I'm just like, that has nothing to do with my video. If you comment on the video, why would you segue into business stuff? an oval office like what well look at the comments the next comment says investing in cryptocurrency is the one best chance to make money what again way off topic of what my video was even about of what my channel is even about but this isn't related to either the video nor my channel these comments aren't the next person stocks are good crypto is better next it, it, he adds this person called edgar diego and says he's obviously the best I invested 2,000 US dollars with him and in nine days, I made a profit of 9,000 US dollars. I just started investing in stuff. I had just started investing a few, months, a few months back and I'm looking at this like, whoa, that sounds great. If, it's too, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. So I needed to check this out. So if I scroll down here, I got to the point where it started showing a number of who to contact. Now it's under a different name that was suggested earlier, but I was like, okay, so let me go check this out. I went to WhatsApp, contacted the number, baited them as if I was a person that was interested in what they were doing. Lo and behold, what did they want? All kinds of information. They want you to buy cryptocurrency with their platform. They want you to invest in cryptocurrency with their platform, but they want you to give them your money to invest for you. You have no other control over the crypto or the money or how much goes in and comes out after that. So I busted them, called them out, deleted it, and I never went back. Now, as I said, I didn't. Ca it didn't catch on at the moment that this might have been a problem as big as it turns out to be. Who knows? You might think it's real. Somebody, some of you might be hurting financially or some of you might be just getting into crypto or whatever. And it's easy to fall right into that thinking that someone has good intentions behind it. It's a scam, it's bots. Watch what you're commenting to on these channels from here going forward. But not even on my own channel that I almost get hit up. Here's another channel that I frequent, the Fresh and Fit Podcast, that I commented on, and one minute later, I was hit by a scam bot. You can see my comment right there. I might blur some stuff out just to protect that podcast's comment section, but look at this. Reply to me, thank you for watching, 
endeavor write to the expert and broker as soon for more enlightenment and tips what that's not even a that's not even a proper sentence but there you go a phone number right there for what app what app look look how they did the number you can see the symbols in between the digits tell him i directed you here's the kicker look what it has replied by fresh and fit the bot even poses as the creator the creator definitely didn't reply with some goofy shit like this one minute after my comment so this takes no time however this has been implemented it's done with no effort this was one minute after i commented and it's already represented itself as the creator and put in fraudulent information and fake information to try and bait me or whoever into being scammed. So yo, I know this is outside of the realm of what my channel is about, but I care about my audience too. You guys deserve to be protected, so this is a warning. This is a heads up for you guys to be looking out for this kind of stuff in these comment sections. Also, getting the word out to the other Americans in Germany, foreigners in Germany, because the content we make is intermixed and it's promoted through each other's channels. So we have some of the same audiences. So this is also a heads up and a warning to other creators in Germany. You have to keep an eye on your channels now a little bit closer than we have in the past. Cause a lot of, I know a lot of y'all get like way more views than I do. So you get way more comments than I do. And something like this can sneak up in any comment. It can be a comment on its own or a reply to someone else. So this is my good service deed for the day. This is a warning to you, the audience, and to you, other creators. So be aware that scam bots are out there and they're trying once again to destroy livelihoods and make people's lives miserable. Thanks for watching this content, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.